Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Steph. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, give this video a, give this video, no, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I've filmed this so many times. All right, so subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every single Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, all throughout the months of August and September. After September, who knows, but there is gonna be a, ton, a little bit, actually a ton of travel content coming your way, which you will see soon. But yeah, I'm really excited. There is gonna be a little bit of announcement on where I'm going, what I'm doing, all that sort of stuff coming up. Yeah, so to get into the video, first things first, I need to dress the elephant in the room. You guys are gonna be seeing this probably on Wednesday. Um, there will be a vlog in between, but you will notice that I'm in the same outfit as Friday's video. This is because the weather over the next couple days, as I'm filming this, so I'm filming this on Thursday, the weather has been horrible, hit or miss. This is the one patch of sun that has been out since 11 o'clock this morning. And tomorrow is supposed to be gross, and I need to put up a video tomorrow because consistency and I'm here for you guys. And Saturday, Sunday, Monday are supposed to be nice, but I might not have too, too much time to film because I am going golfing. Segue into what I'm talking about today. I have a little bit of a golf stuff haul as well as a pair of shoes, boots, booties, Chelsea boots, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> so if you guys don't know, even though I've mentioned it a lot in this video, I do golf. I was on the golf team in high school. I have been golfing since I was like nine or 10. I am a member of a golf club because it's what you got to do if you golf a lot. Anyways, so recently this year, I've gotten back into golfing since taking a little bit of a hiatus for university because I nobody got time for that in university. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened. I just like didn't golf for the longest amount of time. And yeah, so I needed to update some things. I needed to definitely get a couple more pairs of pants, like bottoms that I could wear, and I needed some stuff for the upcoming fall golf season. So, the first thing I got, I'm gonna say so a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, the first thing that I got is a Lacoste black long sleeve polo. I think this is their cotton mesh polo. It's just their classic like slim fit women's polo. This is in a size 36, um, which I think on their website, they say it's like a medium, but really it's kind of like a small, like I'm a size small and this fits me perfectly. So I do find the Lacoste sizing a little bit misleading. You definitely need to read the actual like dimensions that they give, like the inches or the centimeters that they give to the length thing, the length thing, the lengths of things. So yeah. Uh, definitely a size 36 in the shirt works for me. I am typically a size small shirt. Um, I am a little bit taller, but I do have quite a narrow frame. So small works out for me. Depending on the length of the shirt, I will sometimes choose a medium, but this definitely 36 is perfect. Anything smaller would have been too small on my shoulders, too short. It would have just been not cute. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm so rambly. Okay, so I got this long sleeve polo because it is August right now. It's warm. It's still summer, but the nights are definitely starting to get a little bit cooler. And as we move into September, the weather is definitely going to cool off and the nights are going to get chilly fast. So in terms of golfing, golfing is kind of a long game. Unless you go out first thing in the morning, you run the risk of changing weather in Ontario. Yep, in the fall, it can be beautiful and warm and feel like summer at lunchtime. And by four or five o'clock in the afternoon, it could be 15 degrees or 10 degrees. It just completely depends on the sun and how much heat is kind of in the ground and where you are, stuff like that. So a long sleeve polo from my experiences playing tournament golf in the spring and golfing all throughout the summer and through the fall is kind of what I like to wear when it gets a little bit cooler. I'm not a huge fan of layers. When golfing, I find it's just a little bit too bulky. It gets in the way of my swing. 
I get too hot, like all that sort of stuff. So a long sleeve shirt that I can just throw on. It's easy once I get warmed up. I stay warm in it. It's perfect, works for me. So yeah, I'm really excited to wear that in the fall. I have already worn it as a fashion piece. I find that like going grocery shopping or going to the mall where there's gonna be a ton of air conditioning, I like to wear a long sleeve shirt just because I get really cold and it's cute, it works, it's fashionable, like, it's, yeah. <laughs> Um, so in terms of bottoms, I got two pairs of white bottoms. I got a pair of white Bermuda shorts. These are them. I have already worn these golfing. Sorry guys, but I just couldn't wait. Um, they are a little bit longer than I have a pair of black tailored shorts that I also wear golfing, but I needed a pair of longer shorts to wear because my club is a little bit on the conservative side in terms of dress code. And I got white because I needed something that would match with all of my shirts. I really wanted to get a pair of black ones that were a little bit longer, but unfortunately when I was looking, Lacoste had these and then a navy blue pair. And honestly, the navy blue ones like go with my stuff, but they wouldn't have gone, wouldn't have matched everything as well as white would. So I ended up going with white. These are in a size 34. On their website, they say that um, a 34 is what they would consider like an extra small. So I'm a jean size 25, like a trouser size, like two to four, depending on the company. Um, and these fit me perfectly. They're actually a teensy bit loose, but I tried on a 32 skirt and it was just, wasn't good, was no bueno. So I got these on sale. These were $62 on sale. Actually, sorry, this polo wasn't on sale. This was $115. Um, it's actually kind of expensive, but I will get so much wear out of it. These were on sale. I love them. I'm not a huge Bermuda short fan. I think they look kind of weird on me. And honestly, they are not the most flattering shorts on my body type. Like they just make me look all sorts of weird. But these are okay. Like. I'm okay with them. Obviously, like, you have to fit into your club's dress code or wherever you're gonna be playing's dress code. So sometimes looking cute isn't gonna be the priority. Sometimes it's what's gonna work, what's functional, what fits, and that is it. And luckily they are kind of cute. <laughs> the other thing that I got, which is definitely a cute piece, uh, is this white pleated tennis skirt. This is also in a size 34. I would definitely, if you are like taller than I am, so if you're like five foot nine and above, like I'm just under five foot nine, this might be a little too short for you to wear. It's already borderline too short for me because I always feel like when I'm wearing this uh, that it does like come up a little bit at the back and I'm always a little bit worried about being exposed. Even though it does have shorts in it, I just like, don't love the feeling of having my butt out. But, uh, sorry, these don't do that. They're just borderline. <laughs> Where was I going with that? So yeah, I got those. Um, those are also in white. Tennis skirts are usually in white. My club does let us wear tennis stuff as golf stuff, as long as it matches the golf dress code, I guess. Um, we have to have like collars, we can wear sleeveless, but you can't wear sleeveless in to where to eat. So it's kind of like you can only wear sleeveless if you're gonna either bring a sweater or change of clothes or you're not gonna eat at the club. And then we have to have tailored shorts. They do like let you get away with like a shorter pair of shorts. Like I have worn a shorter pair of shorts a couple times, but so it definitely, the club is on the more conservative side, like I've said, so it's always best to have something that's a little bit longer versus a little bit shorter, at least in my experience. Yeah. I don't know. That's all I got for golfing. Um, yeah. Golf stuff is really not that exciting um, because it, it has to meet a dress code. The dress code is definitely more on the conservative side, and it's not like tennis stuff where it can be kind of like cute and fun and like, girly, but also be like athleisure, like golf stuff is still a little bit rigid. It's definitely moving towards actual athletic wear, which is 
amazing. Like, don't get me wrong. The day that I can wear like running shorts to the golf range, I'm here for it. I think definitely for like actually playing a game, you should still wear like the polo with the collar and like nice tailored shorts. But for practice and stuff, I would definitely love to just be able to wear like running shorts and like a hoodie. But yeah, anyways, it's not ever gonna happen in my club. Um, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm rambly. I filmed this so much and the sun is going again. Oh no, okay. <sighs> Uh, the last thing I got is a pair of Blundstones. These are actually to be shared with my mom. So I've said this a lot. I live at home. Um, I moved back after university and I just haven't moved out yet because, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm only 23. I don't really want to, like, leave home yet. I don't have enough income to do that. And, yeah, you know, it's just, like, I live so close to the city. All of my friends still live at home except for, like, three people. And it's just like, it's really expensive where we live to move to the city and like get a nice place that is close to everything you wanna do, close to work. So it's easy just to save money and live at home for the first couple years. Couple, like not forever, but a year or two. <laughs> um, so, God, I'm so random, sorry. So I'm living at home, which means that I do get to share a lot of stuff with my mom meaning a lot of shoes, handbags, dresses, all that sort of stuff. We tend to swap between the two of us. I'm very lucky, despite my height, I am the same shoe size and uh, the same dress size as my mom. Uh, she's very petite, she's five foot two, but luckily we are the same size. Um, which means that I get to share a lot of stuff and we get to have more stuff. And some of the stuff gets a lot of wear out I said stuff a lot, anyways. We got a pair of Blundstones to try them out, to share. Um, I'm probably gonna end up being the one that breaks them in and she's probably gonna be the one that steals them all winter. But we got them in rustic brown. These are a size four and a half UK or seven and a half women's US sizing. They are the classic style. I don't know if Blundstone actually makes other styles, but yeah. <laughs> we got the uh, winter version so they're like extra waterproofed and they have a shielding sole on the inside which eh. Eh. no okay let's see if i can pull this out um so yeah we just got them because when i where i went to university i went to western every single person pretty much had a pair of blown stones ah see so they have a shielding sole and people swear by them as their fall slash winter shoe. It is definitely one of those pieces that people, once they get them and once they break them in, absolutely swear by them. Um, I know people who wouldn't even take them off like all throughout the summer, like they would wear them all season. They have a really thick sole, which makes them very, very good for the winter, especially when it gets really, really icy. And that's kind of like why my mom wanted to get them. She had a lot of people t recommend them to her because she was really scared of slipping on the ice. I'm more curious to see how warm they are and if they are warmer than my combat boots. You guys know me, I'm a big combat boot person. I have my eye on a couple pairs of docks right now. Like that is my style. Like the Blundstones are not necessarily exactly my cup of tea, but I want to see it. I want to try them out like we have them, so we shall check them out. Yeah, um, that is it for my haul. I know this is a very small, slightly unexciting haul, um, but I wanted to show you guys what I got in terms of my August purchases. I don't know if I am gonna get anything else. We'll see. Um, but yeah, like I want to keep it real. Like I, if you guys watched my style Q and A. You will know I buy quality over quantity, so I buy less things. And sometimes those things are a little bit more expensive, but I do buy things as and when I need them. And I try and only buy things either to replace stuff or to fill for an occasion. Like I don't really like to just go out and get stuff just because. I do buy a couple like trendy pieces here and there or to fill out like my wardrobe, so to speak. 
but I'm not really a huge like get clothes just for the sake of clothes person um yeah I just like I don't know I'm a little bit practical though I love my clothes don't get me wrong but like you'll notice in upcoming hauls and upcoming style videos I really do just wear the same stuff over and over and over again just styling it different ways with a couple of new pieces here and there to update them for the season that's about it I don't know so Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. All of my social media links are listed down below. Please give me a follow. I absolutely love connecting with you guys on there. And I am posting every single Tuesday and Thursday on HungryAndWellDressed.com. That is my blog. There is so much stuff on there. Go check it out. There are new posts every single Tuesday, Thursday at 9.30 in the morning. So they are up just in time for your morning commute or your lunch break you get to them a little bit later and I don't know yeah if you guys like this video please let me know what you liked about it if you didn't like it leave a constructive comment below please don't be negative don't be hateful there's so much of that in the world and this channel is just not the place for it like I want this to be a very positive uplifting place where you guys can come and get away from everything 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 and that's that's it I don't know I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah, so that is it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.